Today is really hot. hot. Hey guys, I'm Isa. Welcome to my channel. This video is about how to make a silver ring like this. Joy and pleasure to millions of music lovers. I'm in love with So the first step is to measure the finger. Here I have the ring sizer, and I'm going to try on different sizes to find a size that fit my finger comfortably. Okay, now we can see the number 14 is the size for this finger. Then it's time to check the ring stick. It's about 54 millimeters long. Here I actually want to explain a little bit about how long we have to cut the metal in order to make this ring. 54 millimeters is not the actual length that we need to cut for the metal. The actual length should be a little bit longer than this. Do not forget the thickness of the metal. Here I'm going to use square Y with a thickness of 1.5 millimeters. So we need to add three times of the thickness. Because sometimes it might become smaller if we fire the metal too much. Okay, now we have 58.5 millimeters. This is the final length that we have to cut for the metal. I'm going to make a mark to measure out the length that I need for my ring. Then I'm going to cut it. Once I'm finished the cutting, I'd like to go over the edges with the flat file to make sure everything is even and straight for soldering. The next step is to annul the metal with a torch. Basically, we need to heat the metal up to a certain temperature in order to make it soft to work with later. After, we need to put this metal into a pickling solution to dissolve the surface oxidation and flux from the metal surface. What I normally use is the citric acid from Amazon. Now, just wait for around 5 minutes. As you can see now, the metal is fresh and clean. Next, I'm going to use linen gel plier to form the shape in order to make sure there's no light between the two edges. Now comes to my favorite part, which is soldering. First, I'd like to apply some flux to the seam of the ring and start soldering. Remember to clean your solder before using it. Soldering is basically two or more metal items are joined together by melting and then flowing a filler metal into the joint. Then I just place the metal into the pickling solution again to remove any oxidation or flux from the surface. Now I'm going to file the ring with needle file and emery paper. Once 
is complete, I'd like to use my rawhide mallet and the ring mandrel stick to start form the shape. Finally, it's time to hammer the ring. I just use the dropping hammer to start making the beautiful texture. Now is the final step. I'm going to place the ring into my magnetic tumbler polishing machine for 15 minutes. It will clean and polish the ring. It just makes the ring shiny and perfect. Now the hammered ring is complete. So that's basically how I make my simple silver ring. I hope you guys like it.